Okay guys, today is the day. This is our update day. And uh, today's the day where you get to see kind of what's going on in here, how everything's doing. If anything's dying, we need to do some maintenance. We need to do some watering. Uh, we need to do some checking up on both of my cabinets. And that is what we're doing today. So for those of you who are new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Nikki. This is my channel, Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. Today is one of my behind the camera days. These happen every now and then. As we, um, as we all know, my GFPs, they know. <laughs> and to all of my GFPs, thank you guys so much. That is gluttons for punishment. I am so glad you guys are back for more punishment. <laughs> I love you to bits. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and jump into this because we need to get some stuff done in here, see if anything needs water and all of that fun stuff. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in watching, then please stick around and watch. So today um, we're just gonna do some maintenance, as I said. Um, the first thing I do every morning is I go ahead and open up the doors on both of my Ikea cabinets and I don't have it on right now because I'm filming and it's quite loud, but I do have a fan that's constantly circulating and that does blow into each cabinet. So I'll leave it open usually for about half an hour, 45 minutes, just to let the air circulate and, um, get the air moving in there. My fan is finally coming today, uh, but even with that fan circulating the air inside, it is good to open it up and let it air out. Um, you know, at least once a week even. Um, I'll probably do it every other day once my fan gets in here. So we go ahead and open this. I have to prop this door open. I don't know what the deal with this one door is. So it's 76% in there right now. It was 78 until I opened the door. Um, <clears throat> so what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be working on both cabinets. Um, I need to water this one. So this will be the first time that it's been watered. So that will be interesting to see how I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this. <laughs> We do have some new leaves coming on pretty much everything. So that's amazing. I'm gonna give it a quick check as I do when every time I water, I go ahead and just check leaves, um, see if there's any pests or anything like that. Um, if I do, I can you know, tackle that at the time. Uh, but I am really curious to see how these plants, like how we're gonna water it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because when I originally kind of like thought up this design and this this setup, I was like, I can just pop the pots right out, take them to the sink and, you know, water them from there. But then I went and put like all of this spag moss on top. So now I'm kind of like, um, it's not going to be exactly as easy as I think it's going to be. Um, anyway, so we're going to do that and we'll see how that goes remains to be seen. And then we're gonna go ahead and tackle the second cabinet. Um, so I'm just gonna be wiping down glass, same with this one, wiping down the glass, um, watering the plants that are in there, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> and I think the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and water these plants. We'll do the glass last, cause that makes sense. And then if I splash anything, it's not the end of the world. All right, wish me luck. Let's get going. Okay, so the first thing I wanna test here is if I can use my moisture meter or my finger and check the soil with how these are set up. Um, <clears throat> with the ones that are hanging from the S hooks, like you can see right here, um, I'll just hold the bottom and kind of stick my finger in there. I can also kind of like wiggle them and this one is in moss and it's actually still kind of damp, so that's good. Let's check. That one's still damp, good. Um, right before we close her up, clean the glass and close it up, I'll go ahead and give everything a good spray just to wet this top moss. Um, so those two are okay. Let's go ahead and check this Hoya. It is also still kind of moist, but he looks like he's sort of falling there. I may have to like reconfigure him a little. There we go. That's better. This Hoya is growing so incredibly amazingly well. 
in this cabinet. It's unreal. I'm going to try to get, here we go. Aren't those pictures like the cutest thing you've ever seen? I just love them. Look how cute. Oh, I don't know what that was. Anyway. <laughs> um, so also when I spray it down, I make sure that I spray my air plants. Um, and if you aren't familiar with air plants, usually what I'll do is um, once every two weeks or once a week, once every two weeks, I'll take them out, throw them in just like a Tupperware container full of uh, filtered water and I soak them for a couple hours and then I'll just uh, flip them upside down on a paper towel or a dishcloth or something like that to let them uh, drip dry um, just so there's no water sitting right in the... the um, the crown of the plant uh, but these air plants are absolutely loving it in here this air plant particularly uh, I don't know if you can see that or not let's see can you see that focus there uh, it has new growth on the inside it's a little dark I know anyway <clears throat> and I haven't seen new growth on these plants in in a while so they're really enjoying being in here they're getting light they're getting humidity and they like it <laughs> so um i'll go ahead and spray those or and everything else at the end uh, but let's go ahead and uh, check on some other plants here i'm going to use my finger for now that one's still damp this is great so is that maybe we don't even have to water see so this has been together for two weeks now and as with anything new you really kind of want to monitor it over the course of the first month or two just to kind of see like because I don't know how things are going to respond I don't know how things are going to react I don't know how quickly the soil or the um, the media that they're planted in is going to dry out so really just need to keep on top of it for a little while and then I'll have an idea of how often I need to do certain things in here. Um, so this is really good that we're doing this today after two weeks just to kind of see how things are going and so far it looks like I'm not going to have to water it even you know half as often as the rest of my collection which is great. Let's go ahead and check this Warrock here. Put my finger in there, she's still pretty damp, that's good. Not damp, moist, which is what we want. Let's check this guy. It's still good. Billy's still good. See, this is how we know. <clears throat> I've been leaning away from the moisture meter for a lot of my plants now. The chunkier that your soil is, the uh, less accurate it's going to read. But if you can stick your finger in there and feel the moisture, or if, you're, if you bring your finger out and it's covered in soil, um, then it usually means that it's it's damp enough. Um, so those are all looking pretty good. Let me check down at the bottom here real quick. These will probably dry out faster, but even still, that one's still, that one's good. There's a mushroom growing on that one. That's fun. And that one's also good. What is that? Another mushroom? Okay, we got weird mushrooms growing in here. That's disturbing. <laughs> okay, uh, so everything's looking good as far as water, and we don't need to water anything. All right. Great. Okay, well, um, oh, let's check this guy. He is dry. So this guy's okay because we can just take him out because remember we kokidamad him. Um, so I'll just go ahead and plunk him in some water and let him soak for a little bit. And then we'll just go ahead and throw him back in here, kind of pluck off some of these dead older leaves. Um, but yeah, it's doing really well in here. Look at these pictures. You can see the water in there. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and get him watered and then we'll put him back in here and give it a spray down. Okay, this is the spray bottle that I use uh, for spraying it down. I was using my little one, um, but it just took too long. So I figured I'd, you know, go big or go home. Um, so this sprayer I picked up at the dollar store. Um, 
but they have some really great options for uh, larger capacity sprayers on Amazon. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I try to use filtered water as much as possible. So we're going to use some of my filtered water in here. I would use this, but it's a lot slower. <laughs> There we go. And I am going to drop in a couple drops of this. Um, so I got it from um, Miss Boone Plants when she sent me a plant last year. And <clears throat> it's a mix of neem oil and coconut oil. Um, so I us usually use just a couple drops and that's really all I need. So it's just like as a preventative. So we'll drop a couple drops in there. just as like a preventative, I suppose. Spin the lid back on there. Give it a shake. Okay, now let's go spray down some plants. So I'm not soaking everything so that it's dripping and I'm not using like a hard spray. I just kind of want the top layer of spag to be wet. There we go. I don't want to drench everything. But it will dry fairly quickly and once I'm done here I'm gonna turn up the fan so the fan will blow in here and uh, dry it up a little bit and then we'll close it up and we should be good to go. All right then let's get the glass cleaned. Okay so this was actually really good timing so my fan just came in the mail so this is the one I got. It's just a small uh, USB clip-on fan <clears throat> and the reason that I got this one was because it was small and it would fit in here and not look super clunky. So let me show you. So this is it. It's got a button. It's got three speeds and I've tested it out. It's actually got pretty decent airflow. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try to get this installed. And what I'd like it to do ideally is to aim kind of up this way. So it's pushing the air up and around so that it will circulate. All right. So let's go ahead and try to get this all hooked up. I'm hoping that I can kind of clip it right here. Uh, look at that. Look how perfect that fits in there. And it really does bend really nicely. <clears throat> and then I can run it out the bottom in the same location that this cord runs out. It's not ideal, but I didn't get to drill a hole in the bottom. Okay. Now, the only mistake I made. There we go. So this should put the air circulation all the way up in and around. So when I close it, it's just going to kind of create this cycle of air all the way through the cabinet. That's a perfect size. That's amazing. So there is a little bit of a hum. However, I think once I close the doors, I'm not really going to hear it. Um, <clears throat> so when you're 
putting fans in your cabinet, etc., or if you're using fans with your plants, I think the important thing to remember is it's not so much about blowing a lot of air at the plant, it's more about circulating the air. So I have this on the lowest setting right now. It's not crazy, like high velocity air being pushed out. Um, it's just enough to actually push the air around inside. So it doesn't need to be like a high powered, crazy, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it doesn't have to be like a, a lot of air being pushed out of the fan. So that thing is going to be perfect in here, I think. Um, so anyway, now that that's done, now we can go ahead and clean the glass. There we go. Now it's all clean. We can see the air circulating in there. You can see the moss and the plants moving. Um, <clears throat> that's only on one. If I had it on too high, that would be way too much air in there. Um, and if I want to, I can kind of switch sides back and forth. But I think that's going to work quite nicely. I might even point it so it's a little more pointed at the, the glass. Oh, you know what? I have to put that... Um Nepenthes back in there. Let's go grab that and put him back in and then uh, we can call this guy done. Okay, so he's all watered, looking great. I took those old leaves off and I wrung him out. I just gave him a little squeeze and then we're just gonna go ahead and set him right back up in here. Oh goodness. Um, when you're working with Nepenthes, you wanna be really careful and mindful, I guess, not to um, spill the liquid out of their pitchers. That's what they use to uh, catch and uh, devour their prey. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're not spilling that out. There we go. Oh, it looks so cute. Right. There we go. She's all done. She's done for the day. Job well done, folks. Okay, let's move on to the other one. Okay, let's get this baby open. Is that door gonna stay? Yeah. Okay, first thing I need to do in here is check um, if they need water. I have a feeling some of them will be in need of it. <laughs> Finish a thought, Nikki. Um, okay, I'm gonna grab paper towel on my moisture meter okay this one I know is gonna be dry feels really dry on the top very dry that guy is still wet you can also tell because there's still soil coming off there let's try the banana he needs water crystallinum also needs water. Let's double check. Yep. Uh, lately I've been kind of double dipping, so I'll check with one. Oh my god, that feels so dry. <laughs> That's dry. What about the princess? She looks like she's probably okay. I don't know. I'm gonna use, oh, there's soil on the meter. Oh no, she's okay. She's still damp. And let's poke back here. And the Jose needs water. So let's go ahead and take those out and over to the sink. I don't water them in here um, unless it's just a quick top up water. Um, when they're thirsty and need proper water, you really need to flush them all the way through in order to properly water your plants. So let's go ahead and take the ones that need water over to the kitchen.
Okay, so when I water, I've got my Marfil here at the sink. I go ahead and just dump a little bit in here. Probably the equivalent to like three or four cups full. Lid back on. Give her a shake. Now I've tried to water out of here a few times, but it always goes sideways and I make a mess. So let's be, you know, let's be better and go ahead and use our watering can. If I have big plants, I'll just use the jug directly, like my Diffenbachia and stuff like that. But for these little ones, I just inevitably make a mess. So we'll just avoid that altogether this time. All right. So I'm gonna put them in the sink. Um, I do wanna get one of those drain racks um, so that I can just set the plants on top of it. Makes it easier to reach when you're watering and um, it's handy. Just go ahead and give her a good drench. I do use really well draining soil mix with lots of perlite and stuff so they do drain out rather quickly. And I usually give them two rounds of water and then just let them sit. So I'll move this over to the other side. You can see it's pouring out there. there go. Next. We're going to have to deal with this guy here soon too. Um, I don't know if you recall me telling you, but you can see that this is not being held up by a whole lot. This stem is extremely thin. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is wrap this and then we'll air layer it and then we can just chop it off and replant it because this plant is getting really big really fast and it's not going to, this stem isn't going to hold that up for very much longer. water and then wait for it to go down. There we go. And then water again. And then while I've got it out here, I'm just going to check the leaves really quick. Just to make sure we've got no pesties. These were all sprayed, but I like to check them anyway. Better safe than sorry, and while you're watering is a really great time to check your leaves because you're already at each plant. I know you guys have heard me say that a million times, so I apologize for being a broken record, but not everybody's seen all of my videos, so. <laughs> oh my god! This guy could actually probably use a little bit more water. All right. And then, now that that one's done, this one's ready, so we can put it back over here, ready to go back on the shelf. And move this guy over here. Let's move on to our banana, Miss Paisley, and she is dry. So I'm going to give her a really good thorough drench While I wait for that water to go down, I'm just going to check her leaves. All of the white ones, you know. I don't like to touch them too much, but... There we go, Miss Thing. And now this guy will be drained, so we can move him back over here. And get him set over here, ready to go back. production line. Cuprio actually feels really heavy, but it's not. It needs water. So 
Isn't her new leaf beautiful? It's a new leaf that I've had since um, it's been in my care and it's so pretty. There we go. And then this guy I'm just going to water right here. And of course, <laughs> the last plant I run out of water. Super! A plant gets really dry really fast, so I like to make sure it's like super, super drenched. Okay, let's bring the paisley back up here. that little leaf is going to come out or not. It's so tiny. She'll get there. She's feeling much, much better. She's really liking it in that cabinet. Her leaves are much more stiff and uh, they look better. Like the color is better. Very, very happy with that. Can't wait. Okay, so while we have everything out of here, I might as well go ahead and clean this top half. So I'm gonna pop those two plants out and we'll go ahead and clean the glass on the top. And then we'll put the plants back in and then we'll do the bottom. I also wanna put that light in here uh, because these bottom ones get a little shaded when the plants on the top are all in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. She is getting so big. First of all, I'm just going to dust this out. There we go. Let's grab our Windex. There we go. That looks much better. Okay, and now we can go ahead and put the plants back in. Actually, no. First I'm gonna put that light in. So let's take those plants out. We'll get the whole thing cleaned out and then we'll put the light in. That makes more sense. Okay, all the plants are out. I'm gonna grab the light and then we will figure out how to install it on the shelf. <laughs> I think that's gonna be the trickiest part. Okay, so the problem with this one is definitely gonna be the cord because I haven't yet drilled a hole in the bottom of this cabinet. Um, maybe I'll get Jordan to do that this weekend. Um, it's gonna make it a little bit difficult because this cord is quite thick. Now, in the meantime, while I wait for Jordan to drill that hole, I can run it out the door. Um, the door just, doesn't shut entirely properly but at this point I think that's kind of our option so uh, let's go ahead and get these lights installed um, I'm probably going to do what I normally do and put oh my goodness put the little sticky pads there uh, but then I also put a little bit of Gorilla Glue on top of the sticky pad because I find in my experience none of the grow lights that I have ever purchased that have come with that 3M sticky tape have ever, ever, ever stuck. Even the super small light ones that I have don't stick. Um, and the last thing I want is for this to fall down onto my plants. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Now, what I did learn is if you use these particular lights, um, it is really beneficial to plug them in first and then stick them up. Reason being is because of the length of the cabinet, if you don't put them on first, 
it's really difficult to get your hand in and around the side to stick this in afterwards. Just a helpful little tip for you there. Okay, make sure that's in there really tight. Okay, let's grab the little sticky pads and the Gorilla Glue. Okay, here's the little sticky pads. So we'll go ahead and put them on first. Make sure that this is super clean. And these you always want to put on the little white caps on the end. You never want to put it on this metal part because it does get too hot, loosens the glue, and then, you know. Oh. Go ahead and hold it down for a bit. Press just to make sure it's extra stuck. Okay, there's one side. I'm also really trying not to scratch the glass here as well. Now we want to go ahead and peel off the little sticky pieces. Okay, so we've got the little sticky bits peeled off and then I'm just going to take a little bit of this Gorilla Glue. No, oh, actually. Okay, so I don't need a whole lot. I just kind of go around, whoops. one even there we go make sure you cap your glue right away the tricky part is always going to be getting it so it's even under here and not crooked okay ready let's hope it's even and then we just want to press and hold. So I'm actually going to hold the top piece of glass and just press and hold that for as long as you can handle it. <laughs> now once that dries, it's like cement. So those, that's not going to come off there. Now the trick is going to be getting this cord out, up, and plugged in. Yep. All right. Um... This is going to be messy and I'm not really sure if I can videotape it or if you really want to see it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the light plugged in, kind of mess around with the cords a little bit. And then I will come back and we will clean the bottom and get the plants from the bottom watered and then get it all put back together. So here's the situation that I found myself in. So I got this bottom light put on and then I was like, oh, now the lights don't match, which really drove me nuts. And eventually I was going to switch out. The, this top light for these lights anyway so I'm like I might as well just do it all at the same time because that makes more sense you know anyway so I got the bottom one installed looks great lovely and now I'm just going to go ahead and switch out this top one so I'll go ahead and do that same exact process as I did on the bottom the only difference is it's plugging into this extension instead of the actual plug and I will be right back okay so I got both lights installed. I got the cords on this side all as about as managed as I can get it. Um, I'm not going to deal with that one right now because like I said, we're probably going to end up drilling a hole and then running it down through. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn them on and see how it looks. Oh, so much better. Yes. And now the lights on both sides of the TV and both cabinets are the same color because let me tell you that was driving me nuts because there was like a yellowish hue light on this side and then the pinkish cool white on the other side <laughs> and it was driving me nuts okay amazing uh let's go ahead and clean the bottom out i'll do that on my own because you saw me clean it's not that exciting um and then we'll go ahead and put the plants back in i'm so excited it looks so good. 
Okay, <laughs> I'll be back when it's time to put plants in. There we go, guys, what do you think? I think it looks amazing, it's nice and clean, it looks fantastic, so let's get the plants put back in. There we go, I love how it looks. I think that light is so much nicer and cleaner and crisper and I'm obsessed. Okay, let's go ahead and get the plants back in the bottom. Okay, time to get these guys watered should they need it before we put them back in the cabinet. Now I believe I just watered this one or maybe I didn't. Nope, she's still wet. Not wet, moist. Let's see if that's accurate with my moisture meter. too shabby not too shabby I mean it's still moist but hold on now well, you know what I'm gonna give it a little bit anyway we're not gonna soak her through just gonna top her up she was in the process of putting out a new leaf and alocasias tend to be a little bit more happy and likely to put out a new leaf properly um, when they are well watered. So Look at that new leaf, just giving them a good once over. Looks good. Looks good. Don't see any nasties. And this one should be really dry. Yep. So we're going to give it a real good watering. Like Kevin says, we water and then we wait and then we water again. It's funny because it's the way I've really always done it. But then I was watching, um, I don't know if you guys watch Kevin from Epic Gardening. That's how he waters and he has like a water weight water. Um, and that's his like little mantra <laughs> about watering. And so when I saw that, I was like, oh, I like how you put that. Um, anyway, I am going to give her a smidge more. This is in really chunky soil that dries really fast. So, all right, we'll set her over there. Let's check this campo. It's cool, but I'm pretty sure it's quite dry. Yeah, I should have about a two and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and give her some water. She's going to be getting more light now, the ones on the bottom here, so that soil will dry up a lot faster than it has been. Back out, set her aside. Now hopefully we have enough water in the rest of this jug to do the rest of the plants. Cross your fingers and toes for me. Oh, it's gonna be tight. This guy is probably quite dry. Oh yeah, super dry. Just gonna take a couple of these old leaves off here. Give it a good once over. She looks pretty good. This one did struggle with thrips back in the summer, but I think we managed to get rid of them. She's looking pretty good. All right, water clock. Wait. Uh oh, we spilled over the side. <laughs> now this one looks wet, but well, I think that one might be all right. Yep, it is. It's at about a six, so it's okay. And you can tell as well, there's some soil left there on the probes. 
we'll set him aside. And last but not least is this little Selby who is probably okay. Yep. I'm going to give her just a tiny top up anyway. There we go. Her leaves are just feeling a little bit limp, so. Okay, let's go ahead and get these guys put back in the shelf and get a final look. Okay, there we go. It looks so much better. I didn't bother putting that Selby back in there because honestly, it doesn't require crazy high humidity. And I thought it just looked a little too crowded down there. So I just left those six plants in there. And I think that looks pretty good. So I do have some unfortunate news to, to relay to you. Come and check this out. Okay, remember this fan? <laughs> I'm not a fan of this fan. I'm a little upset at this point. So I looked in here and I noticed this thing wasn't working. So I was like, hmm, I wonder why. So I tried to hit the button. Oh, now it's running. Okay, so this is what it did last time and it ran for like maybe 30 seconds and then just stopped. So I was like, okay, well maybe when it fully charges, you could just unplug it and it runs on battery. I don't know. So I tried that. That didn't work. I tried changing out the actual plug because I thought maybe it was this brick just wasn't good anymore. Uh, that didn't work. So I'm thinking maybe, oh, there it goes. See, it just stopped. So I'm definitely going to be contacting the Amazon seller and having them either send me another one to try. Maybe this one was just a dud. Um, but yeah, so far not impressed. So uh, stay tuned for the update on that because I don't want to like smack talk the brand if it could just be like one bum piece of equipment. Um, I'm not like one of those who only gives something one shot and goes, oh my God, the product is shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to give these guys a chance to fix the mistake. If they don't, then um, yeah, I'll move along to something that works properly. But for now, I mean, I really liked the design. Um, I liked how it worked until it stopped working. <laughs> anyway, so there's a little update on that. Okay guys, well that was my update. I really hope you enjoyed watching that and just kind of seeing the process and learning about some products that kind of suck for now. <laughs> for now. Um, yeah, I think the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is probably put that seal on the inside of these doors, but I want to wait until um, we can get the hole drilled in the bottom here because as you can see there's a little bit of a if you can see that the door is not closed properly because of that wire. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed watching this. Uh, if you did go ahead and put some kind of light emoji like lightning or a lamp <laughs> or something light related, get creative with it. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It is a huge help to my channel and I really do appreciate it. I would like you all to have an amazing and wonderful day, night, week, month, and year. I love you all to bitty bits and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.